Okay, we're back again and we're gonna continue building up this space shooter game. One of the first things that I think we should do is get rid of this game frame. Now that we have the game frame sides figured out, we're gonna go ahead and click the game frame button over here on the right and get rid of them. So now I can, can't can click on it and move it around anymore because I've already got it where I want, so I don't wanna mess with it anymore. So that's done. The next thing I wanna add to this game is a scoring system and a points label. And so I'm gonna show you how you can do that right now. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start dragging in some invisible points. And here's what I mean by that. So I'm going to drag in any old image and preferably it's an image that's small. So it's not going to take up too much space in your atlases. So I'm going to drag in a tiny little asteroid in and I'm going to use that as my point. So I'm going to drag it in as an action type. Okay, so I'm going to drop it in and you can see that that's a pretty tiny little asteroid there, uh, about maybe medium sized. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stretch this sucker out and probably, maybe that's a little bit too much. I'm going to go up to the top right and I'm going to change the opacity from 1 to 0. Okay, so what that does is it made the asteroid invisible right here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to my top left and I'm gonna click on actions and then there's my little asteroid and I'm going to change the properties on this asteroid. So I'm gonna click on my asteroid until you see the green outline right here and then that will open up on the menu over here on the right side and I'll show that to you right now. So there it is over here on the right side and now we're gonna set this thing up as a point. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the name from asteroid underscore one underscore zero 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 one and change that to just point. Okay. Cool. The other thing I want to do is I want to check the collision shape. So there's the collision shape. That's perfect. I want it to be a square. I don't want the collision shape to look like the asteroid because I want it to just be a point and you'll see what I mean by this in a second. So now that I changed the title, I've changed the collision shape. That's good. And I'm going to keep the action type as none. I'm not going to use any action animation, but I am going to change some of the properties. So I'm going to zoom in here, bottom right. And so I'm going to keep the reward coins at zero. I'm going to get rid of the coin reward and I'm going to change the reward points from zero to one. And then I'm gonna get rid of this show points reward. I'll keep the duration as one and I'll keep the appearance chance as one so that it's there 100% of the time. And then now we should be good. And so now we've got our point created. So you can't see it, but there's the point right there. I had to click a few times just to find it. If you are having trouble finding your points, then you can go over here to the top left and you can just select your point. Like let's say I'm you know, having trouble finding the, the points. I, I can just click on it here and then what it'll do is it'll select it in the scene and it'll show me the frame and so I can find it. Okay, so I think that that point is a little bit thin because here's what we're gonna do. The ship is gonna move through the point and it's gonna hit this point and it's gonna give it a point and it's gonna keep hitting point, 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 point and you're gonna keep gaining points as you go further. So instead of doing this like as a distance meter, I'm just going to give you points as you continue on down the path. So I'm gonna click on debugger mode so I can see it a little bit easier. And then there's my point. Okay, great. So the truth is I don't want to reward any points within the first scene and just the start scene. Okay, I wanna start rewarding points to the player as soon as they enter scene one. So I'm going to actually take this point, I'm gonna hit Command X on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna click in the bottom left here, I'm gonna click on scene one, and then I'm gonna paste the point into the scene. Okay, so this scene's a little bit longer. I designed it that way. You can make the scene longer and shorter by taking this little node here and lifting it up and down. And I'm going to hit Command V and paste my point into the scene. Now, here's the deal. I need to have this come in at the very bottom so that as soon as the ship enters the scene, it hits a point and the game starts rewarding you points. I also want points to be there throughout the scene. So I'm gonna hit W on my keyboard and I'm just gonna copy a couple of the points. Okay, so now I can see that I have one point that is a little bit above the scene. And so it's bleeding into the next scene. And so we don't want that. Okay, we, what we do want is we want it to end right at the point so that as soon as it enters into another scene, it starts hitting another point and it's very evenly placed. So that all of a, it's not like you're gonna all of a sudden get like two points faster than the other points, okay? We want it to be really smooth. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the top left. I'm gonna click on my mind map here. I'm going to click on my world UI and then I'm gonna add in a points label here. 
So I'm going to go up here to the top left again. I'm going to click on labels. I'm going to add in a label and I'll probably add in the new space font label that I made. So I'm dragging this into my scene and I placed it over here in the top left. So you can see it right over here. I'm going to take the little game over event observer and I'm going to move it out of the scene. So I'm going to lift it up to the very top here so that I can select it real easily. And then I'm going to move it over here to the left. Something else that's really, really cool. So let's say the game over event observer was underneath these things and I wanted to click on it, but I couldn't because I couldn't get to it. So what you can do is you can hold command and then right click and then you can select items that are stacked below some of the other items. And I'm going to move it out just above right here, okay? Because it doesn't actually need to be within the game frame or this UI box that you've got here. It can be hanging out on the outer edge here. So I'm going to take my label now, I'm gonna put it over here in the corner and then I'm gonna set some of the properties over here on the right. So for right now, I'm gonna just place it right here. I don't know if that actually works or not, but for right now, that's tentatively gonna work. So I'm gonna go over here to the right and I'm gonna change some of the properties. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change change the name from space font to points label. Great, now I'm gonna change the function from user text to score type. I'm gonna keep the world as all. I'm going to change the score type to points. I'm gonna change the amount to current. I'm gonna keep the left alignment here so that it continues to go to the right. You can also do center alignment, that's another one that I really like, or right alignment. But for right now, I'm gonna keep it as left. I'm gonna keep the font as space font and then I'm gonna hit stick to edge so that it'll work for any phone or tablet screen size. Okay, so now let's take a look at what we've got so far. So I'm gonna press play in the upper right hand corner and then let's test out our game. Okay, great. So we've got this character moving through space and now he's starting to collect little points in the top left. Now I think that that's a little bit of an odd placement so I'm gonna need to fix that. But I wanna show you too what's going on underneath all of this because right now it looks like it's invisible. But there's actually a bunch of points that are being collected right now. So I'm gonna turn on debug mode so that you can see and you can see that the spaceship is just boom, 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 hitting a bunch of points. And so that is what is giving us the points and that's how we're determining our score. So I think that this is pretty good. I do think it's moving a little bit fast. So I think I might widen up the points a little bit and that's why it's really good to tr test this out and debug it before you start making like a whole bunch of scenes and then adding the points later. It's better to add the points at first. So I'm gonna click off debug mode. I'm gonna click exit out of here. And then first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix the placement of the, of the label. So I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit so that you can see here. So I'm gonna move this over here to the left. I'm gonna shrink this down and I'm gonna move this over to the side and you'll see why here in a second. I'm going to press play and I'm gonna move my preview window over here. So now I can change where my label is in real time. And so I think that right about there is good. And I'm actually thinking that my pause button is a little bit big. I'm thinking I might change it to 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 so that it's a little bit smaller. You know what, heck, I might even go a little bit smaller than that. You know what would be cool is to see how big they are in comparison. Oh, you know what, that's pretty even. Okay, so I kind of like that. I'm gonna keep the pause button at 0 0.8 and 0 0.8, but I'm gonna move it up here so it's a little bit closer to the top corner. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit so it's a little bit more even. Okay, I think that that looks clean. So now that I've got that figured out, I, I think we're collecting the points a little bit too fast, so I'm gonna fix that next. So I'm gonna exit out of my preview window here. I'm going to stretch this sucker back and I'm gonna hit space bar on my keyboard so that I can recenter it. Now I'm gonna go back up to my mind map here in the corner. I'm gonna click on my world and then I'm going to delete these points here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to widen these points out a little bit. The other solution to this is that you could slow down the speed of at which the scenes are transitioning from scene to scene. So there's definitely two solutions to this. So you can either widen the points like this so that there's fewer points throughout each scene, or you can slow down the scene so that they're not collecting points as quickly. For right now, I'm going to just stretch out the points and then I'm gonna hit W a few times and I'm going to stretch out my scene so that it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna hit Command Z because I moved it a little bit more than I wanted to. And then, you know what I've got? I've got the point also selected, so I need to click out of it and then click on my node so I can stretch it out. What I was doing was I was actually trying to move both of them at the same time. So now that's a little bit, I might have gone a little bit too wide with this, but let's check this out now and see if it's working. I'm gonna recenter this preview window here. I'm gonna hit Start, and let's take a look at this. Okay. 
So that's much better. I feel like that that's a really good kind of cadence. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the kind of, you wanna have, be able to have like a breath. It's, it's kind of, I think a good rule to go by is the one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, that sort of thing. And if you can kind of get it within there, that's the sort of fluidity that you want. It, it flows a little bit nicer. Okay, great. Now that we got that all squared away, I want to do one more thing before we close out this video today. I want to start adding in some asteroids. So we've got our scene set up, we've got our point system set up, we've got our point label, but let's add in a couple obstacles for the ship to avoid. So first off, I'm going to take my first scene here, and I'm going to click on it here, and then I'm going to press D on my keyboard, and D stands for duplicate. And so I'm going to make three scenes just to start off with here. So you'll notice too that in each of the scenes, the points are also copied. So that's why it's really, really nice to set up the point system first so that every single time you're copying and creating a new scene, all the points are copied with it. And so you're not having to constantly place point after point in each of your new scenes. And if you wanna create a scene that's a little bit longer, like we're going to do later, you wanna click on your scene, press D, and then you can click on your point, press W again, and stretch it up so that the scene is a little bit longer. But it is a good idea to make sure that the scene it falls within these point systems so that the points match up from scene to scene. And one of the things I'm noticing that happened was when I stretched it up, I need to stretch my background up as well. So I'm gonna click on my background here and I'm going to unlock it so that I can stretch it up and I'll stretch it way up because it doesn't really matter. So now I should be able to increase the length of my scene real easy. So I'm gonna lock it up again, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete this scene because I just wanted to show you as an example. And now I've gotten rid of that scene, and so we're back to our three scenes. And one thing that I think you should do is make sure that you have all of your points now locked down so that you don't have to mess with them anymore. Now that we've got our point placement right where we want it to, we're gonna lock them down. And we might change the point placement later. That's why we're only going to work with three scenes right here in the meantime. We're going to check our game speed and make sure everything's flowing correctly. But for right now, you want to lock down those points so that you're not moving them all around. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop in a couple asteroids now. So I'm going to drag in three different asteroid types. I'm going to drop them in all as objects. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to drag and drop in a second. And I'm going to drag and drop in a third. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the three different types of asteroids. I've got a medium-sized asteroid here, I've got a little tiny asteroid, and I've got a little big one here. And so I'm gonna place them from smallest to biggest real quick so you can see. So small, medium, large. And so those are just three different types of asteroids. And the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go up to the top right corner and you wanna change each one of these to enemies. So I'm gonna click on each one of them in the scene and I'm going to change them all to enemy. So I'm clicking on the littlest one right now you can't see it but I'm changing it to enemy and so now all three of these are set to enemy and you can see it in the upper right hand corner each of these are set to enemy and so now when we duplicate them by pressing S or W or D or A on our keyboard they're going to duplicate as an enemy as well so we don't have to redo the preset every single time and that's a good strategy the other thing that we're gonna do and I'm gonna just delete these real quick for a second the other thing that we're gonna do is we need to change the collision shape and the animation speeds on these and this is a really good practice whenever you drag in and drop in like an action or an object or something something like that, it's really good to mess with the collision shape and the animation speed to make sure that those are dialed in. So I'm gonna go up here to the top right and I'm going to click on edit and I'm gonna check my collision shape here. Okay, great, so I've got my shape here and first I'm gonna change it into, you know, I think that's gonna to be too circular. This is kind of oblong, so I'm going to have to dial it in a little bit differently. So I'm going to try to get it as close as I can to the exact one. I'm gonna add in a node here by pressing the little plus button and try to get it as close as I can to the original shape. And I think that one more node will do it. Okay, cool, kinda of looks like a diamond. Okay, great. So that one's done. And now I'm going to go up here to the top right and click on the edit button to make that sure that the animation speed is correct. So I'm checking out the animation speed and let's go ahead and press play here in the bottom left hand corner to see the animation speed. And you know what, that doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty good. I might slow it down just a little bit more just because 
it's got kind of a spacey feel to it. You know, it's an asteroid, so it should be kind of floating. Yeah, see, I think a little bit slower is the way to go. I'm going to actually even change this to 0 0.6 down here, so almost half the speed. Even though I thought the first one looked good, I think that this just looks a little bit more, a little bit better. It, it seems to align better with our game universe. Now I'm going to exit out of the animation editor. And I'm going to do the same thing I did for this one as I did for the others. And while, while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this to Asteroid 1 in the top right corner. Now I'm going to click on Asteroid 2, and I'm going to change the name to Asteroid 2. I'm going to check the shape editor. And you know what? That is actually, let's see here. Let's zoom in here. That's not bad. I might just switch it over to a circle, though. I think the circle is good enough. Maybe I'll stretch it out a little bit. Um, yeah, you know what? That's fine. It's a little bit, you can see just a little bit on the outer edges, but I think that that's fine. If you hit the body of this asteroid, it's going to hit you. So that's that's fine. So I'm going to exit out of my shape editor, and I'm going to check the animation speed on that one as well. And that one looks good. I think I might change it to 0 0.6 as well to slow it down. And let's take a look at that. You can't really see it too well. Let's see here. It's all pixelated when I zoom in because it's a tiny image. And I think anyways, I think that that's going to work. So I'm going to exit out of the animation editor on this one. And then I'm going to do the same thing for Asteroid 3. I'm going to change it to Asteroid 3. I'm going to check the shape editor. Probably have to fix this one up a little bit. Go plus here, add a node, bring this down a little bit here, and last one. OK. Yeah, that's pretty good. OK, cool. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be good enough to work. And let's make sure that I didn't go too far out. OK, good. There it is. That's a little bit better. OK, that's pretty exact. So I'm going to exit out of my shape editor. And I think I'm going to make a couple copies here on this first scene. I'm going to end the video here in just a little bit, but I want to take a look at what we've got so far because I have a feeling that these asteroids are going to be coming at us a little bit too fast. I think the next thing that we need to work with is the game speed and the time warp so that the scenes are not going through super, super fast. And we might have to change the shape and size of our point system as well, but um, yeah, this is a good stage to do all this right now in because um, it's, it's still early, and so it's not like we're going to have to redo a whole bunch of work. I mean, we might have to adjust our points a little bit, but it's only, we only have three scenes, so it's not that big of a deal. So, okay, so I'm going to center this real quick, and that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go up here to the top right, and instead of hitting the play button, I'm actually going to hit just this test scene button. So this is going to just test the scene number one, the scene that we are on in here. Whatever is showing up in here, that's what's going to be tested if we hit this button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that button. Okay. So yeah, I think that the floating action looks pretty good, um, but it definitely is moving too fast. It's moving too quickly down the scene, so we're going to have to change the game speed for sure, or maybe we'll mess with the time warp. But we'll do that in the next video. For right now, I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and end it here, and then stay tuned because in the next video, we're going to add a couple more asteroids. We're going to start adding some space aliens. We're going to do black holes and portals and a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So we're going to keep building on this and keep building on this throughout the week until we've got this really awesome, complete space shooter game. Okay, so that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Like and subscribe.